Hello my crafty peeps, it's Cheyenne. Welcome to my YouTube channel or website wherever you are viewing this video. Now you may have noticed, I don't know how important I am in each of your lives, um, and I don't want to sound self-important by any means, but I'm not putting out as many videos these days. And that is because I've decided that I need to take a little bit more time to spend with my family and just you know living my life i found that i was getting a little too wrapped up in my day job and then doing this and i was neglecting things so i'm trying to find a happy balance between all of those and i find that it's working out for me better like i feel like i'm able to put a little bit more into each video i don't feel like i'm rushing through or just like coming up with something because i've got to get a video out there this is stuff that i actually i'm wanting to do in my real life and uh, i just think it's going to be beneficial for everyone in the long run if i continue to do it this way so let's, uh, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about scrapbooking. I love scrapbooking. I am so far behind. That's kind of um, what got me into more mixed media. I have more of a fine arts background, been taking art classes for as long as I can remember, as soon as it, they became available to me. And I come from a line of artists, so it definitely runs in the family. And then, I was pregnant with my kiddo and I thought you know all right scrapbooking it's a thing now and it's becoming more and more popular so I started to get into that and then I started mixing the two into a and getting into mixed media and I loved it I loved it so that is where I kind of like to live and exist and be like artsy and I love telling stories and the photography like I feel like scrapbooking does incorporate so many different kinds of art and there's no one right way to do it so that being said i have this wonderful picture of my kiddo this was taken many years ago when we were just sitting out on our porch we were up on the the second floor and in a nice like little residential area and we just love to like sit out there and just like be on really nice days and this is I don't know if you guys remember, but these little guitars were kind of all the rage with the kiddos um, during this time period. And it was just basically like a chipboard cardboard, but there's electronics and stuff in it. So you can actually play a song with it. It's one song, but it worked and it had like a little headphone slot. So this was kind of the beginning of, you know, when I would lose my son to his headphones. So he was doing this and it was just, he was being really cute and the brick wall just looked wonderful. And the whole composition was great. So I'm like, all right, I picked up my phone and I took the picture. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but when I'm picking out my cell phone, I pick it out based on the camera options because this is one of the main things that I do use my phone for, along with, you know, calls and text and all of that stuff but it's very important to me to have a good camera so that's what i went for um, what's nice these days about our smartphone options is that there are editing programs for our photos oh i do have a photoshop subscription which allows me to use the photoshop and lightroom app and there's a couple other apps from photoshop that i can use i'm still kind of new to that world so I'm still learning but I love like this old like vintagey feel to photos and everything like it just I'm just a big fan of that aesthetic so I found on the Google Play Store because this is a Samsung Galaxy Edge that uses Google the Pixelomatic app and I am loving this. This is not sponsored, by the way, at all. This is just an app that I found that I think would help you guys out. So you can just go ahead and install it. There's lots of different effects and stuff that you can do with it, and it's really quite awesome. So let me go ahead and I will open up mine and we can go over this just a little bit. So let's go ahead and use one of the photos that's already loaded. You can take a picture. There you go. You can take a snapshot right now and uh, then edit it that way. Or you can upload 
from your gallery, your phone. I have Google Photos, so a lot of my photos I'll just pull from that. But they also have some that you can kind of play with. So here there are a ton of different filters that you can use and it's just it's pretty awesome then once you pick the filter that you want you have the option of adding like these little light effects to it and that's a whole lot of fun let me go to some of the extra fun ones if I can find it so I mean there's just a whole bunch of different options for you here um, different types of like dodge and burn sort of things let me find what I'm looking for. There's like different patterns that kind of get superimposed on your background. Look at that. So it can be like really fun and artsy. There's, you know, fireworks. There's like a whole series of fireworks that you can get. And hold on. I'm trying to find the ones. It almost looks like a neon light. And it has like different words. And maybe I've got by. Okay, no, here's one. So you can see there's like. Well, maybe you can see a whole bunch of like hearts and down here we've got home, there's hope over it, a whole bunch of joys, love, so lots of different options. Then you have a whole bunch of different options for the type of frame that you want on your piece. And then once you're happy with all of this, you can save it to your device. And that's what I usually do. I'll save it to my device and then I will send it to my uh, printer. I do have a Canon PIXMA printer and I do love it. Or you can choose to share it in you know, whatever social media stuff that you got going. So I just wanted to share with you this fun little app that I found if you'd like to have more of that that feel to your photographs. If you like Instagram, it's like Instagram, but more. And I love that, love it. All right, so that's what, this is the photo I'm scrapbooking today. I pulled out some papers from my stash. Um, I know this is a die cuts with a view pack. I wanna say it was called like You Rock and it's from eons ago. And I just thought that it would be perfect for a more boy themed layout. It's got the little microphone and music notes and I just thought that that was very fitting. I do like papers that already have kind of a collage start to them because um, I feel like I don't have to add a whole lot more to them. It kind of can help give you that mixed media feel without going crazy with trying to figure out what it is you want. Like they've done a good chunk of the work for you. And then I, at one point I got a whole little like page kit and it was all like boy and masculine. So this is one of the papers from it. I don't, I want to say I got it at like Big Lots and it came with some uh, cardstock stickers and different things. I just pulled the, the cardstock stickers that came with it and so I'm going to kind of be cutting these up and using these all together and just making it work. So without further ado, let's start off um, doing the process. Hey, so what's great about using more of a collage sort of uh, pattern paper background is that it makes it so easy to quickly put together a scrapbook layout because a lot of the work's already done for you. I love having these sort of um, the background papers where you can use different parts of them. You can like cut them up and you know have a lot of fun with them. So I've cut off some of the borders and I do plan on using those in the finished layout. And then I ended up with this piece of paper that I could use to uh, map my photo and I thought that was wonderful. I'm fussy cutting these words and some of the uh, different elements from this bit of the paper. Let me tell you, if you're not a fan of fussy cutting, try using these scissors. They are so nice. I got them. Where did I get them? Online. No, wait. I got them at Hobby Lobby. That's right. And they're really wonderful. I have some issues with carpal tunnel and arthritis in my hands. You know, 17 almost 18 years of being a hairstylist, it'll do, it'll do a little damage. So um, these scissors really help me with all of that. And I don't mind fussy cutting nearly as much as I used to. So these I'm going to use for my title. 
because I'm doing titles again, you know? Everything old is new again, and it's come back around for me. I'm um, going ahead and matting all those, um, matting everything down, and I'm like, oh, look, I like this, and I can use this. So I've really, I've got, I used two sheets of pattern paper, and I really, like, that's it. That's all I, I used, other than some, like, stickers and, like, chipboard elements, that sort of thing. But... For the most part, two sheets of, of pattern paper. That's fantastic. And I'm just taking the bits and pieces and I'm layering them up, getting some interest going because there's a lot on that background sheet that I'm going to use, the black one with you know, the there that one right there. So there's a lot going on and I want it to, to balance out. There's a, you know, that big little frame thing up in the right hand corner. So just kind of bringing it out. And here I am just like kind of putting it all together, figuring out what else I want to use. And, you know, I decide, all right, we're going to, to use some of the stars. Trust me, I'm coming back to them. Um, but yeah, just trying to like anchor everything in. So the photos, the, the, the focal point, and, you know, just having fun. I find that little border along the bottom there was really helpful in almost like grounding everything so that the it didn't look like the photo was just going to float off the bottom. Now when in doubt, if you find that your elements aren't popping, go ahead and take a black pen or marker and get some outlining on them. It'll help them to to stand out a little more. It'll give them a little bit finish, you know, add a little extra detail when you think that you it's just not coming out things are blending into each other there it's not doing what you want add a little detail to your uh, your stickers and stuff like that I'm just putting those stars along you know the outside and I've got them tucked underneath different layers this is something else that I like about doing the layers in your matting and is that you can add some extra depth and dimension ground it a little bit more Make it look like it's not just a whole bunch of things sitting on top of your paper. It really incorporates it in it. It weaves them all together, if you will. So I found, I went through my old alphabet stash and I found that metallic R. And I loved those stickers so much. I want to say I found them at the dollar store years ago. And they're just, a, you know, a whole bunch of just like monogram once I've got copper and silver and the R is actually embossed a little bit into it. It's really awesome. So my title is You Are Totally Awesome because, of course, my kid is. And I'm sure you feel the same way about yours. But it's okay. We're parents. We're supposed to feel that way. Now I decided that uh, we needed a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the, uh, the U R up with a little dimension and everything. When in doubt too, add dimension. Layer, add dimension, use your black pen or marker to uh, add some extra detail. I don't worry so much about uh, how neat it all is. You know, this is handmade. I want it to look handmade, so I don't worry about it too much. And there I am just making sure that everything is adhered down nicely and popping everything up. It's it's nice to be able to kind of move things around as you're creating. So I'm starting to not commit to adhering down everything until it's exactly where I want it to be. And I'm finding this is very much helping me in my scrapbooking. So then I think, all right, it needs a little bit something more. So I've got a scrap piece of, uh, I think it's Whisper White cardstock and uh, one of the labels from Stamping Up. I uh, don't believe this one is available anymore. I think they retired it. I can't remember. It's It's been a while. So one of my tricks is cutting up my labels and layering them up that way so I can get, you know, so I got the orange piece and then I've got the white piece and it looks like it's like bigger, you know, it's like a, a little shadow piece. Um, so that's one of my tricks. Don't be afraid to cut up your, your punches, your die cuts, you know, anything like that. Just, you know, you're getting, trying to get interesting shapes on there. So I'm playing around. I'm trying to make my title pop maybe a little bit more. Get some interest going around there. Again, layering it up. Making little clusters. Um, 
So maybe think of it more like that. You're making clusters that are kind of making the eye go across the page. You're supposed to keep the eye moving. And then it's time for journaling. Yay! So I've got one of my white uh, gel pens. I still struggle with white gel pens or white pens markers of any kind really but especially anything that's fine tipped enough for me to actually do writing with and I've tried all the tricks you know sometimes you, you rub it on your finger a little bit to get it going <coughs> excuse me and it's still not they're not as nice as I would like them to be so there I am just writing my journaling, essentially saying how much I love my kid and how proud I am that he's mine and how we like to just sit out on our porch on nice days and, you know, watch, you know, the wind go through the leaves and the birds fly and all that stuff. All right, and here is the finished layout. I kept it fairly simple. I, uh built up things around. I wanted to keep going and building because that's that's usually what I do. I just keep adding stuff and adding stuff. Um, but I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and keep it simple. Let's look work with a limited amount of products. And just to show you that you can, you don't need to have like an entire art room like I have. You don't have to have spent years and years and years because I'm older than dirt collecting all of your different um, papers and ephemera and embellishments. You can just have fun with you know a page kit or two and uh, it's really nice. I love the way it turned out. Just so simple, short little story, taking time to relax on a nice day, feeling the breeze and the sun warm us, playing music and watching the birds fly free. And I have my little title, You Are Totally Awesome, because I'm doing titles again. I'm inspired to do that. And just like kind of keeping it clustered and keeping the focus here. And again, letting the background paper do a lot of the work for me so I don't have to build up different clusters and everything. feel like having these two bands here really kind of gives some weight to the photo. It doesn't feel like it's just kind of floating in the middle of the page. Oh, all right, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to go ahead and leave me a comment. I do not mind answering your, your questions at all. Any products that you want to know more about, I'm here for you. I got you back. Okay, so, um, all right. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye. Want to see more? Here's a couple videos that might interest you. And visit my website and blog for more project ideas and inspiration and to keep up to date on everything happening in the Pixie Crafter world. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy crafting! Bye!